Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today my makeup is a lot more dramatic than my last video. And I decided I would go a little bit more bold. I hope that you guys like it too. And yeah, if you guys would like to see step by step how I got this makeup look, what products I use, and just me chit chatting with you guys. Please keep watching and we will get right into this video. Alright, so I already went ahead and did my eyebrows and prepped my eyes using the Balm Concealer, which is one of my favorite go-tos to uh, just uh, even out the eyelids. So now I'm going to take a skin tone shade and set the concealer. And of course it can be any skin tone shade that you have. So we are going to start off with the Huda Beauty Obsessions and this is the Topaz. Okay. So we are going to start off with this more of a rusty orange shade and that's going to go in our crease. So we are going to start off from the outer portion of the eye and pretty much pack it on. You want to be patient and you don't want to go in with too much at once. You hear some loud like noise in the background it's the ac that i'm right next to and there's no way that i can turn it off it is literally like above 100 degrees over here and as soon as you turn it off everything starts to get really hot and then now i can begin to slowly blend outwards. So I love this brush by MAC. It's a 217. Okay, so now that we have that color down, I'm going to take a yellow. I love that it's not such a vibrant yellow. It's more of a orangey yellow. And I'm going to be using a Morphe M441 brush. So it's like I'm overlapping it, but also taking it a bit above. All right, so now I'm going to be switching palettes. And I'm using another one of my favorite makeup brands. And this is Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette. And the shade I'm going to be taking is Jamila. And now for that, I'm taking a smaller blending brush. I love this brush. It makes everything so much easier when doing more detailed uh, work in the crease. This is the Morphe M506. All right, so now I'm going to be going straight in with a purple and this is a brand from Mexico I found it in I mean the name if you think about it you would think like a sex shop lingerie store or something but it's called Exotica is the name of the store I believe it is um, like everywhere in Mexico and it is a very popular store. They sell beauty creations, LA Girl, 
uh, Milani uh, Bisu, which is this brand. They sell Rude Cosmetics. Uh, so many brands and amazing accessories and jewelry. And yeah, I decided last time I went to one to buy a couple of eyeshadows uh, just to see how they perform. So this can either go really good or really bad. So let's cross our fingers. I'm going to start slowly just in case I have to replace this with another eyeshadow. Okay, so so far, wow, it is pigmented. Very nice. A few more brands that I had never heard of before doing my little research online and I will be doing pretty soon a whole face of Mexican brand makeup or Latina owned brand. So now what I'm going to do is cut the crease and I'm going to be using, this is my favorite uh, cut crease brush and it is by LMR Cosmetics. I love this brand. It is so hard to cut the crease and not look dumb on camera. Keeping it pretty, you know, for the camera. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to open my mouth whenever I'm cutting my crease or doing my mascara, and it's just not a pretty look. So I'm carving out the cut crease with the purple eyeshadow. As you can see, that makes it look a lot more clean and sharp. Now I'm thinking I should do a purple because it would just really tie in the look. So I really like this one. And this is the Huda Beauty Amethyst palette. Now we're definitely going to have to wet our brush with a setting spray because these eyeshadows do perform a lot better when wet. They give more of that foiled look. So you can see that makes it like three times better. So now since I want to add a little bit of depth, I'm taking this more dark plum purple color. So to fade in that line where the shimmer shade ends, I'm going to take that same uh, color that purple matte shade and just run it back and forth. My camera 
was not filming. I didn't press record. And I did my winged liner and then I cleaned up the edges. So the eyeliner that I've been using lately is the e.l.f. Cosmetics H2O Proof Eyeliner. So this is supposed to be waterproof. Alright, so now for my eyelashes, I'm going to be using these by Coco Lashes, which apparently I put in uh, the wrong way. So yeah, these are in the style carry. I've had them for a really long time and they're still going strong. Alright, so moving right along to the bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Amethyst. And I'm going to be taking this color right here. Now we are going back to this shade of purple. Take this last shade. So this is the bottom row and apply it to the inner corner of the eyes. I don't know if it, I, I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but it's like a really pretty iridescent shade. Alright my loves, so this is my final makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below what videos you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your love and support and all the beautiful comments that I have received ever since I came back to YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!